Can the love hormone heal a broken heart? Oxytocin, the hormone commonly associated with feelings of pleasure from social connections, sex, exercise, and even art appreciation, has many other functions, such as the regulation of ejaculation, lactation, uterine contractions, sperm transport, and other fun things. Recently, scientists from Michigan State University have found another previously unknown function of oxytocin in zebrafish and human cell cultures. Welcome to Longevity Brief, brought to you by House of Longevity, your source for the latest news in the anti-aging and longevity fields. Now, let's get into it. Oxytocin in zebrafish stimulates stem cells from the heart's epicardium to move to the myocardium and transform into cardiomyocytes, the cells responsible for heart contractions. The researchers believe this could help with the regeneration of the human heart after a heart attack. During and after a heart attack, cardiomyocytes die in large numbers. They are highly specialized cells, so they can't replenish themselves. However, a specific type of cell in the epicardium may be programmed to become stem-like cells, known as epicardium-derived progenitor cells, or EpiPCs, which can regenerate cardiomyocytes and other kinds of heart cells. However, under natural conditions, EpiPC production is inefficient for human heart repair and regeneration. This is why the study centered around the zebrafish. This species is known for its capacity to regenerate organs, such as the brain, retina, skin, bones, and internal organs. While it doesn't suffer from heart attacks, its predators will take a bite out of the heart. Thus, zebrafish can regrow their heart when as much as one-fourth of it has been lost. The focus was on finding the key to the production of epipeces in humans. The authors found that in zebrafish, within three days after cryo-injury to the heart, injury due to freezing, the expression of messenger RNA for oxytocin increased 20-fold in the brain. This oxytocin then traveled to the epicardium and binds to the oxytocin receptor and triggers a molecular cascade that causes local cells to develop in epipeces, which then migrate to the myocardium and develop into cardiomyocytes, blood vessels, and other heart cells to rebuild what has been lost or injured. The authors show that oxytocin has a similar effect on human tissue cultures, Oxytocin doubled the rate of human-induced pluripotent stem cells becoming epipeces, a stronger effect than other molecules that were tested in mice. Dr. Aitor Aguirre, senior author of the study and an assistant professor in the Department of Biomedical Engineering of Michigan State University said, We've shown that oxytocin is capable of activating heart repair mechanisms in injured hearts in zebrafish and human cell cultures, opening the door to potential new therapies for heart regeneration in humans. He added that even if the regenerative effects are only partial, the benefits to patients would be enormous. He said that drugs designed with a longer oxytocin half-life or higher potency might be useful and that preclinical trials in animals and humans are necessary to move forward with this research. Watch this space for updates on this and other oxytocin studies. And subscribe to this channel so you never miss a longevity brief.